extra time. Hit the subscribe option and the bell icon to get all the exclusive sports videos on extra time. With Andre Russell showing the firepower with the bat, how about sending him top of the order, which he himself has preferred uh, quite a number of times. Who's who's preferred that he the journalist has the preferred journalist that. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I think I think we've we've identified and we've got a lot of literature in behind it, which suggests that we're trying to use him in the role that we see is his strongest suit. And you know, when Drake comes off, he wins games. Um, you know, we've also we've got a lot of other guys who can play a lot of supporting acts in around him as well, and, and are very good players in their own right. So. Look, you're not going to get every decision right, but we just continue to try and make decisions. If you get them wrong, then you turn the page, you move on and make another decision. And hopefully you get more decisions right than wrong. And the Dre one is always one which you're, you're kind of grappling with. Um, but look, I think you see from Dre um, that when he's on, he's he's the very best in the world at what he does. And we hope to see a little bit more of it. Lots more. We have seen Pat Cummins checking into the hotel. Or is he available for selection for the next game? He is, yep. Yeah, he is actually, so that'll be great. Um, pretty delighted to get Pat back actually. Again, I thought um, he's one of those guys who had just blends so well in this environment and wonderful human being. Huss was adamant he wanted some, some Australians in the lineup <laughs> as well. I was obviously a bit hesitant about too many Australians, but we, Pat's an absolute beauty. He's a, a fine human being, a wonderful cricketer and a strong leader as well. So he's going to add another layer of leadership in and around our skipper, Shraz, who's impressing as well. Um, so he's definitely available for uh, selection. We've got a few selection headaches actually because we've got more guys to pick from than, than not, which is a good problem to have and hopefully we get it right. How do you assess the wicket keeping skills of Sheldon Jackson and is there a plan to actually rotate uh, Sheldon and Sam Billings? Uh, I won't give him that one away either, but um, <laughs> in terms of Sheldon, um, again, he's been around now at the KKR setup for a fair few years and uh, he's had a couple of opportunities this year. Um, he continues to get better and better and better. Honestly, he's 36 years of age, but you wouldn't know it. He's got his growth in the last two years has been significant. Um, his ball striking, there's very few hit the ball as far as what he does. He's actually not too far behind, if not the same as Andre Russell when he gets striking. We haven't seen that necessarily on the on the main um, oval as yet, but I'm sure with more opportunities we will see um, a performance from uh, from Sheldon and fully back him. I think his wicket-keeping skills have been superb. Uh, he's got a real MS Dhoni sort of um, feel about his keeping, that really fast hands and um, and just a, an understanding of, uh, particularly spin, an understanding of what the spins are doing and he's got a nice presence in around the group. So he's been fantastic and he's a wonderful um, fella as well and, and he's desperate to do well. So I'm sure we'll see some, some performances from Sheldon when his next opportunity comes. Next game is against Mumbai Indians. Uh probably not coming off a great start uh, for them, So, but Mumbai always had an upper hand against us, so how do you look at the battle? Mumbai, Mumbai, they're good, yeah. right? <laughs> uh, they, know, they know what they're doing. Um, we're very respectful of the Mumbai Indians um, management and, and the, the coaching staff, leadership, so we know that, you know, that they're, even with a couple of losses early in this tournament, um, they'll still remain really poised under that sort of pressure. And, we expect them to play well. We expect every team to play well when we come up against them. We've, we expect ourselves to play well as well. Hopefully, if we can, if we can be present and calm in the in the pressure times, which are going to come, uh, are going to arrive in this game as well. Um, then hopefully, it means that we come out on top. But certainly, a lot of respect for them. This is extra time.